probably got to get it past to you. I want to look at the computer, and you're going to be a problem if you're just wandering around. This just gives the world more reason to hate us. You don't say. <laughs> Quiet. Got her? Alright. Sorry. Oh yeah, we should reload that, huh? There we go. Alright. So, first intentional knockout. That wasn't a weird reaction to panic. Let's pull you around. The other one was in a discreet location, but you might get caught by someone. So I'll at least put you back here. There we go. Just want to look at this computer if I can. No one looks like they're going to come through this room from here. Alright. More pistol ammo. Oh, shit. That's not good. Was not careful enough about windows. Uh oh. Are you gonna spot? Are you gonna spot her? No, nope. he didn't see the body. Well, that's convenient for me. Although it raises a new problem, which is that that guy is likely to spot me when I'm trying to use the computer, isn't he? Oh no, there's no wall here. So as long as he's not. Over here, I'm good. Oh, it's, on, it's not even locked. Gabriel, if that spineless Tiber Sokol ever makes an appearance, send him up. Victor wants to speak to him about something. Oh, the car. Oh! Tibor, you're in trouble. They totally made that a short message that wasn't hidden behind a, a, uh, any sort of hacking, so that you could just very quickly read it and go by if you were trying to get through it without while that person was patrolling, I think. That seems about right, then, at least. A lot of computers in that, a lot of screens in that room. Just thought I'd cloak for a moment and see if that gets me through the room. Are we secure for the moment? Oh, there's a guy right here. Gotta be careful. Alright. All these machine pistols. I could pick them all up and remove them from the situation and make the streets a safer place. But my inventory's full. Ooh, credit chip. So does that guy look around or does he stay there? That's the big determining factor of how well this next part of my exploration goes. Nope, nothing down here. Alright, trying to keep an eye on the map just to see if that guy starts walking up behind me. An e book? What's this one on? The Inconvenient Og. <laughs> Chapter 17, One Future for All Humanity. In the nanotechnological uh, future discussed in previous chapters lies a lesson for all of us in that nanotechnology will enhance human capability, tapping into our limitless and magnificent potential. The human mind is the greatest com uh, computational device the world has ever experienced, not only in the impressive reach of our rational and deductive abilities, but also in our capacity for less empirical concepts such as love. Love is infinite, hope is infinite, and understanding is also infinite. When we apply to the, prob uh, to the problem of augmentation, divide our boundless capacity for empathy with our fellow human beings, the seemingly insurmountable intricacies of the situation cannot help be revealed for the minuscule challenges they are. With solutions both simple and obvious, we have but to open our minds and our hearts, and all will be made manifest. Stop fucking bombing people. The end. Good book. <laughs> Although it's one of those annoyingly vague ones that, because they don't have the balls to just come out and say which side is right or anything like that, they mostly just come across as being someone that will uh, reinforce what everyone's saying. It's one of those vague comments. It's like when it's like whenever there's election stuff going around and everyone's like, "Yeah, we just need a way to get all the stupid people to not vote." And it's like everyone says that thinking about the opposite party or people who disagree with them and not in realizing that ever that that's being said about them by the opposite people too because it's a universal statement that doesn't actually condemn one side but everyone reads it like it condemns one side and that's exhausting as all hell by the way because that guy hasn't even moved yet so i think i'm safe to just go check out this pc sup uh from Pavel to David. Hey David, have you been hearing weird sounds coming out of the PA speakers the last few days? I don't even know if it's music, it's more of a vibration or, or frequency almost. I don't know. 
I actually feel it, uh, find it very soothing, but it makes me a little sleepy too. Ask around. <clears throat> Sorry. Ask around if you, uh, if you can, okay? Pavel. Mercury instant messaging autosave. I don't know. It's just things are getting kind of messy around here. I assume you've noticed all the higher ups are really testy lately. Like something's going on. And now we're, we're buying guns from the Russian mob. It's just ARC is changing. Maybe not for the better. Well, better than uh, better than our dues ending up in some Kremlin uh, commie's personal slush fund. Are you having a problem? Or Bratva? Sounds like Rucker might be landed. Uh, might have landed some bullshit support. Is it weird because everything we've been getting up until now has been diverted from EU? Or no, it, it is weird because everything we've been getting up until now has been diverted from EU. So what? Practically all the fucking guns in this part of the world are Russian. Want to know something fucked up? I was just in the warehouse and we received a shipment of weapons that had all the serial number numbers filed off except for one. So I ran the number on the PCR database that Block Agate hacked and guess what? They're ex-Russian military. They're getting iffy about the source of the guns they're using. Alright. Anything cool over there or just, or just a constant risk of me getting myself caught? Why not both? Hooray! There's the one dude. There's a few computers in here. If I play with the computers though, there's a very real chance of me getting stuck. And I don't have any way of knowing if any of it's worth it. I really am just looping around and ignoring the actual direction of my objective, but... and just checking out just random doorways that... might have only been intended to be snuck through, and not... investigated. Let's see, I don't see any safes nearby, so... If the computers do anything, I don't expect them to be able to open a safe, unfortunately. So let's, let's, oh, let's move on. At best, they might be able to turn off the camera that's right there, but that's self-defeating because I'm already leaving the area. We good? Alright, there's the guy that almost spotted me before. We're back across. I just need to get across this room. There's a turret, as expected. Alright. Next question then is, can I find security? Alright. I'm partly saving as often as I do because I can't remember how when I last saved half the time. I don't really want to be caught off guard when I load my save and be like, Oh, it was 50 years ago! Goody! That was back when dinosaurs roamed the Earth. Is he gonna... does he patrol or does he just stand still and turn around every now and then? Got some fans and whatnot. There's a knocked out girl. Sorry. Easy thing to do would obviously just be to shoot him. Totally possible. But I like not doing that. Let's see. Sneaky sneaky. That is satisfying to do, by the way. The tiny stealth run. It's like, I don't know if you can see me from here or not, but I know how to prevent it either way. Right, that's obviously my goal. Don't know what don't know what's over here. This special room. I'm curious about what's in there. Looks like a library. Are there people in the library? Does not appear to be people in the library, but that guy seems like he would spot me in the library. Hey, shit. Hey. You see something? I was very specifically hoping you would not see something, actually. Yeah, investigate that dead end corner over there. Yeah, nothing. There you go. Got it. Alright. Let's check out this fancy looking place. All these nice drawers they got everywhere. Coffee cup. Huh. Bookcases seem to be stuffed with fewer uh, secret objects than I would expect a bookcase to be stu uh, stuffed with. Hello. Frag mine. I think you can keep that for now. All these unlocked computers. Uh, who was that? Layla Dobos. Layla, after three long months your package is here, it must have cost you a small fortune to smuggle it in. We can't thank you enough. I know there are a lot of people around here who need something to look forward to, and your generosity proves, provides that. I know Milos is really looking forward to the myster uh, mystery novels in particular, Bela. So there we are talking about book, book shop, uh, shipments. This is just the giant newsletter we read? Yeah. So they are bringing in uh, shipments of- yeah, this is definitely a library. 
And they're bringing in shipments of books to try to help the people that are stuck in here. Poor guys. This room doesn't look useful to me, it just looks like it's got a guard. It's one of the ways to get from the first floor to the second floor. Ah, oh, with the lasers where they are, they probably can see you there. Uh, he probably can't see you past all these screens. Cool. Yep, there's the other guard. Way over there. Is that a useful direction to go in? Doesn't seem like it. Seems like that's the way to go. So I could try going across. That's not a bad plan. Oh shit, someone's in here. Shit. I didn't plan for that. Oh, look, it's her. It's, we will defend our, our kingdom at all costs, lady. Alright. Maybe they'll lose track of me if I just go over here for a bit. There we go. Oh, broken window. That's not a good sign. That is funny being able to recognize the exact lady as I punch her in the throat. I'm like, oh yeah, she was in the cutscene with the stuff. I remember that. But yeah, I, I done goofed. We're at the last second too, huh? They seem really fixated on the window though. They don't even go through windows, do they? Oh, that might be them about to go through the window. I don't know, it's still closed for now. Oh, they're searching now. Alright. Anything stashed over there? No one's looking over here anymore? Alright, cool. Stun gun. See, even they have non-lethal options. Isn't that nice? Ooh, scrap. Sorry, throat punch. Sorry for the throat punch, lady who w said that we're gonna teach Interpol a lesson. <laughs> I guess you got taught a lesson. Whoops. Oh. That's the opposite of what I wanted to have happen. Uh, is she gonna keep coming down here? Or are we gonna complete the search? Okay, she's turning around. That's the turret, by the way. So, getting inside these uh, chambers would not be a bad time. Shit! Oh, got away. My dogs are kidding. I, hate this I thought that it was gonna spot me. Like that was close. You're gonna stop again, right? And just turn around? Cool. Shit. Shit, I thought I could hop up there, and it didn't work. And now this is gonna happen. Get back in cover. Oh wow, no one noticed. Like a, like even a little bit. Okay. Bit of a surprise. I was trying to hop up there. It might be blocked? It looked open from here, but I don't know. The jump didn't work. Uh... Well, I think I'm safe to hack from here. I don't think anyone's gonna see me. Oh, it's rating five. All right, that's why I have you guys. It's for this exact situation. And I can drag you in here. There we go. Less likely to spot that now. Let's get back to my stun gun. Shall we re reload to the new ammo size, then put away? Hello. Thank you for your stuff. Crafting parts. Thank you. That's the reason I get out of bed in the morning, right? Grenade launcher or frag grenades? Whoa. Now I know this game has a grenade launcher. The last one did too, but I just didn't know if this... Didn't necessarily have any confirmation yet that, that, that existed in this one. All right, well, one guard down, I guess. This guy still turns around, though. And that is the direction I have to go in. Huh. The way that there's a suggested wall back here makes me think that you probably could have, uh... 
you probably could punch a hole in the wall or something and sneak behind it, maybe? Uh, the door is definitely right there behind the turret. As if to taunt you. How well do I trust myself? Alright. These two things mixed together is a bad time. Oh, okay, let's... Wait for the turret to pass. Crap. Turn around. Turn around. <laughs> Two different timings and I need them to line up just right. Alright, here we go. Ah. So the turret actually reports things like a camera. Interesting. What could it have been? I don't know. Oopsie. Hey. You see something? I had a uh, I had a uh, what you call a different plan. Was planning on See, if he comes over here, I can at least take him down outside of the turret's range. I don't want to be in front of the turret. Not oh yeah. I got him. Oh, how are you screaming while I'm throat punching you? That was impressive, but how did you do that? Stop that. <laughs> Stop screaming while I throat punch you. There we go, They're a little further away from the door. Well, anyone else want to come by? Get it behind there? Cool. Now soon I will be out of turret range. Good. Ferre Joka, Ferre Joka. Go over here. You're open, right? Yeah. Do 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 do. You live here now. <laughs> Goodbye, turret. <laughs> I love that that happens in this game. It's just amusing. Can I move you around with the? Nope. I thought maybe holding the X button would pick up weapons the way it picks up people, but nope. All right. Well, this place is low on investigation at the moment, so I think I can just get away with this. He's way up there. How do I get to it? Oh, you have to go all the way up to there. Okay. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to be spotted. Alright. What's in here? Hello? That's fine. The important thing is we got another bio cell so that's used for powering devices. It's also used for your energy, I suppose, but I'm happy enough with the regeneration I have already. I usually, I usually get by on that. So I mostly see it as a as another kind of key I can use to open up doors. Let's bring you over here. Into the pile of bodies. There we go. Now if you guys get all found together in here, there's gonna be questions. Galore. I got some stuff done here. <laughs> I have a lot of saves from today, don't I? Alright, well that was messy. So much for my mostly ghost-like sneaking. Or intent- att attempted ghost-like in that I get caught a few times and screw up, but I usually don't shoot anybody. I definitely shot people this time. Is there anyone here? I don't see any security. Yeah, I, I see no security back here. And no, uh, people. There's that one guard we saw before. We went all the way around him. Alright. I'm mostly looking out for neuropazine and passwords. Merrick Artim. Alright, give you a shot. Let's, let's go with the reveal this time. Dear lord, the path we gotta take here. Okay, um... Just, oh, you gotta go all the way to the end, don't you? No, that one would work too. But it involves going through a harder one. Right, let's get started. I think I basically have to use stops right now. Go 
I might be in trouble here. Come on. Uh-oh. 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 Stop it. That was too many That was too much use of stop worms. That's mean. The enemy is right there. A special task from Viktor Marchenko. Merrick, I enjoyed our talk last night. I know I don't have to remind you that it stays uh, between us forward-thinking types. I love Talos, as you do, but if we don't uh, start taking an offensive stance against his, op his oppression, we risk extinction. I have an initiative I'm starting to call Storm Surge, which uh, I think of it as more of a motivational exercise, but I can't do it alone, Malik, or Merrick. I need strong-minded, passionate brothers like you. I have a task I need help with. I'd like you to take a trip with me. Interested? So yeah, Marchenko seems to be a big deal, <laughs> uh, one way or another. Uh, even if uh, even if Talos is re is uh, reasonable, Marchenko looks like he's going to be betraying Talos, and his likely presence as a future boss fight of some kind is pretty much given away by his giant stature and the part where we meet him immediately in a cutscene to establish him. The fact that he's the first person we met meet when we even approach this area is actually kind of comical. Uh, Victor's PC from Max to Merrick. Hey Merrick, Victor was having trouble with his OS yesterday, so I had him do a hard reboot to, uh, to see if it would fix his system. He never got back to me, and I slammed down the LQ today playing Code Fairy. The password is st st uh, Storm Surge, actually. Uh, you can run over quickly and just check that uh, check that he still has a desktop. Thanks, Max. Uh, wow. Okay. So Merrick was given the password to Victor's computer, which is literally Storm Surge. That's quite a- that's a pretty easy, uh, password to guess right there. Is his computer in this area? I wonder, I wonder if I'm getting in- What if I'm getting information I can use in the story? Knowing that he's gonna betray Merrick? I mean, knowing, knowing that he's gonna uh, betray Talos seems like it'd be important information that I could maybe bring out while- during a conversation. Or an interrogation to have different outcomes for storylines or something. I don't know. Hard to say for sure. Anything new on you? Oh, it's Sami's dad. I remember you. I remember you. What do we got here? Hello. And. Oh, more beer. That's fine. Ah, here it is. Alright, so. S T R M S R G. Apparently, the uh, ca password is not case sensitive. Let's go to the bottom of Sticky Door. Uh, from Max to Victor. Victor, Roland asked me to come down and fix the door to, uh, of your storage unit. Sticks, right? Probably has something to do with the power issues lately. I, but, I'll, but I'll run diagnostics on the keypad just in case. It, uh, I'm, it might not be talking to actuators. Uh, I'm going to need your code, though. All right, 6889. Thanks, I'll let you know when it's fixed. That's probably the storage units over there where I already opened them up, but we'll see. Maybe the password will show up elsewhere. Storm Surge from Red King to Old Blue Eye. So they're using code names here, huh? All right, uh, we need to discuss our original agreement for the party favors I supplied to you. Turns out it's not like moving shit through Eastern Europe. There were more trouble than I thought, which means I'm going to have to re renegotiate my original quote. Ball's in your court, but I wouldn't wait too long. There are a lot of people who would gladly take your shit off my hands and for double the price, so tick tick, my friend, tick tock. Alright, so this person's... This person's kind of, uh... They're, they're, they're doing some hardball negotiating with like, Oh, I could sell my, your stuff to somebody else for a better price. Update. Uh, so, uh, going by the names here, by the way. There's a two old blue eyes. So old blue eye. Oh right, it's it's his computer anyway. So that gives it away that old blue eye has to be Victor. Uh, from encrypted to old blue eye. Victor, everything is in order on this end for when you arrive. Though we still need to discuss final numbers. We might have to lean on BH for reserves, but we can cross that bridge when you come to it. One other thing, Orlov is asking for, that you bring some of your friends along with you when you come. Four or five, whatever you can muster. See you in a few days. Rolangala. Oh. 
The name says Roland Gala. This seems like it defeats the purpose of encrypting unless they're doing a fake name to, to frame somebody. Once again, from an encrypted source. Uh, so AM. It looks like AM keeps saying and no one's responding. Okay. Uh, Viteka, we need to talk. Viteka. You need to think about what I said. Let me tell. Uh, tell me what you think. Viteka. Viteka, you need to respond. That's an order, sir. Okay, fine. But we can't just ignore this. The problem's not going away until we explore our options. Please contact me soon. I'll be waiting. Huh. Well, we've got a new code. Drag. What does drag mean exactly? Can I drag a computer around? I'm actually not entirely sure what that means. I haven't noticed that before. Alright, that's most of what we're gonna find in here. We'll see if that if this information about Victor comes into play at all. But for now, let's press forward. Hopping through windows. Looks like an elevator rides in our future. Alright. Any little details? Haha! -ha. Crafting parts. Always with the crafting parts. Alright. We made it! Ta-da! Chicane, I'm moving in on Rucker's position. You got those coordinates yet? I'll transmit them as soon as I've finished my coffee. Don't leave me hanging, Chicane. You just worry about getting our man. And be careful, he's dangerous. We'll see. It's really saying that uh, Talos isn't the dangerous one, and maybe his right hand man might be. If he is his right hand, he is his right hand man, right? Or is he just some dude? But that guy's trying to take charge, and the fact that he's doing that makes it seem kind of likely that he might have been the one that was trying- that did the uh, terrorist attack in the first place. Like, he might have been behind that if he's the extreme enough to try to overtake this place in the first place. Uh, that camera's not gonna move, is it? 